All right, guys. I'm going to show you today how to paint eyes. Um, these are not just small, little, tiny eyes on a model. These are these big eyes on this uh, Nurgle guy's gut. So I've base coated these with a couple of thin layers of blue gray. And what I'm going to do is paint three different colored eyes in here. Um, but I want them all looking different ways, like it's a bit bit of a sort of chaos dude. So to do all the main outlines of the model, I've got Hull Red and this Amethyst Blue from Arcos Colors. Um, so I've just mixed up a sort of really dark reddish brown color so I can paint in the outline of the main part of the eyes. And this paint is quite thin because I want it to be quite fluid so it flows well. And I'll come back afterwards and then retouch up the bits where I haven't quite got the shape right. Okay, so we've got these eyeballs blocked in now. Um, they're not perfectly painted because I'm going to paint all the centers anyway, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but what I'm going to try and do now, I'm going to do this one green, this one blue, and maybe this one a brown in color. So I've mixed up a couple of co colors for the green eyes, which is dark green, golden olive, and I've mixed in a little bit of my hull red as well, just to desaturate it and make it go a little bit darker so when I paint this I want to just really paint all the inside of the eye I want to try and leave that brown outline and just try and leave this nice green inner section Now if you have a look at eyes, the, the reason I've done this is because the eyes normally have like a dark outline to the iris, which is this part we're painting. I'm just going to leave that browny bit in the middle. So we've added in a bit more of the golden olive to that mix, and now I want to try and paint some highlights. So I'm thinking that my light is from above and slightly to the left of the model as we look at it. So we'll try and use that as our light source. So we want to try and paint this top half as a sort of highlight. So we can get a nice sort of little bit of a color transition in the eye. especially pushing the light near the top. Right, so we've added more of the olive green in now. We just want to get light in the top of that eye up. So we're now starting to see a real nice brighter green at the top of the eye, which is quite fitting for this Nurgle dude. And we've got a nice, definitely nice sort of shadowy color at the bottom. May not be perfectly round, but I think it's okay. So for the last highlight on this eye, I'm just going to go with pure golden olive. And we just want to keep this very much to the top.
Now for the last touches on this eye, I've mixed in some of the blue-gray we used for basing the eye to that olive green. And we just want to try and now paint some little sort of pattern inside the eye. So we need a very thin brush and a very sort of steady hand here. Alright, so it's looking a little bit messy at this stage, but we're going to fix that now. So, I've mixed up a little glaze of one of our previous colours, so very much an intermediate mix of what we were using earlier. And we're just going to glaze this over. And we're going to do several passes. Once it's dried. That's looking better. So now all we've got is we've got some black on the palette. And we just want to try and get the pupil in the middle of the eye. So I've gone back to that previous mix that I had and I've added a little bit more of the blue grey in now. And I just want to try and carefully paint a little line around this. So we're going to paint the blue eye now. And what I've got is star blue, which is one of my favourite blues. And we're just going with that, the straight colour that that is. And we're just going to do the same as before. We're going to paint the inside part. Right, what you'll notice there, I didn't paint all the way down to the bottom. I left a bit of the, the darker colour there as a shadow. So I've now put on my palette pale yellow and we're going to use this to lighten the star blue. So I've added some of that to my star blue now and we'll start highlighting this top part of this iris. All right, so that's nice. Now we've got a nice lighter blue in there. near the top section. So again, just more more of the pale yellow now. So we're just trying to put this last sort of highlight in the top area of this eye. So now we've got a nice bright blue eye in there. And we'll just go straight in like we did before. Um, paint the, uh, uh, the pupil. So this time our pupil is going to be about here. Okay, so I've added some of the blue-gray we used earlier into that blue the mix we had to make a lot lighter mix and we're just going to try and add some little lines and features in this eye and once again I've mixed up a, a little glaze of the star blue and we're just going to try and put a bit more of that blue color back in So for the last eye, I've gone back to the whole red and I've mixed in some yellow to make a, a quite a nice rich um, yellowy brown here. So again, this one is looking very much down. So we really want to pop this highlight, this lighter area, really at the top of this eye.
So I'll just coming back now, I've just added in more of the yellow. So we can try and put a nice little highlight just on that upper edge of this one. This one's looking quite a bit down, so we're going to keep the highlight very high up here. So even more yellow has been added now. Um, we're just trying to get a little highlight on that top part of the iris this time. Right, I went ahead and popped the iris in on this one, guys. Um, so I've added our blue-gray into that last highlight mix. And we're just going to carefully try and add some of these lines in again. So, as before, I've got a mix of one of the earlier brown colors we used. I've done a, a glaze here. I'm just going to go over that, try to add a bit more of that brown tone back in there. So, I've got on the palette now, I've taken some burnt red and some pale yellow, and I've mixed up this really nice sort of pinky colour. I've thinned it down quite a bit, and what I want to do now is we want to paint some little tiny veins around the edges of these eyes. So we want to focus this more towards obviously the corners of the eye. But I want these to look quite bloodshot. I don't want them to have really nice super clean eyes. So it pay, paints pays while you're doing this to like cross some of the veins so they look like they're um, little forky type things. So the final part is to just add some reddish colour on the edges on the inside of these eyes. So I've mixed up a glaze of that previous colour and this is how thin it is. See there's not a lot there at all in terms of paint. Um, and I just want to be pushing some of this paint to the edges of the eyes just to give it a bit more of a, a worn look, uh, more of a bloodshotty look. And it will just give it that little feeling of soreness and you know, a bit of wear. Tend to see quite a bit of this around the edge of eyes. And it just finishes these off nicely, I think. And some areas you can add, like I have here, you can add a little bit more in certain places, especially near the corner of the eyes. So the last thing to do on these eyes is to try and add a little reflection point or two. So I've got some ivory on my palette. I've thinned it down a little bit. And we really want to try and focus on where the light's coming from. Um, now on these other ones, it, the reflection point would be slightly different. So there we go guys, there's our eyes on our Nurgle Death Guard guy. I think they look okay, they look quite convincing. Thanks for watching guys and join me next time for another Brushmaster video.